Pretty much everything's gone. Yesterday, which was packing day, was a solid 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. day and we're exhausted. Everything that you see in the house is staying. We took the couches, we took the TV, the stager's gonna come in and replace that couch, do a wall art piece there. This room, we took the couch out of here. That's not going there, that's just going somewhere. And then what took me hours that I'm kind of bummed I didn't get to finish, but this kind of brown and gray stuff is called road base, which is just cheaper. It goes underneath the material and just kind of works as a filler. And then these, a lot of them are still wet, but they dry to be this color. All of these are pebbles, pretty much just a smaller version of the pebbles I already had. We're gonna mix them around and have them blend. I gotta smooth all this out and it'll, it'll look good once it's done. It's just taking forever with one person. I didn't film anything from yesterday because again, it was what, 13, 14 hour a day and I was just focused on getting it done and not being a YouTuber, I apologize. These are the pebbles we have left that have to still go over there and now I have to cut back I think the day after tomorrow to finish up the house because I didn't get it done unfortunately and now for the packing check this out this is crazy all right we got this budget truck and this budget truck has everything in it all of our TVs both of our couches my CNC machine like everything is in there we got the car trailer for it because we're actually gonna be able to get all of the vehicles up there in one trip which is really nice I'm gonna be driving the 240 because it need it has a brand new clutch and it needs a 400 mile break-in period before I can clutch kick it so that's my excuse the range is getting towed so we filled up the back of the ranger and then my passenger princess is 400,000 pairs of carrier buds look at that that's crazy so this car is getting towed gabriel whatever gabe and Leica are taking the budget truck and driving that 500 miles it's a 16 foot truck with a trailer attached to it so best of luck chief the tesla's packed full taylor's gonna be driving the tesla with our two dogs the 240 i packed full with some clothes and then the giant curved monitor from my racing sim oh so that is just about everything and now we have quite the journey ahead of us all right buddy you ready target acquired for maximum communication. All right. What was that? As your metal bang and he goes, hold on. Yeah, All right, cool. Are we in? Yeah, we're That in. was so stressful. All right, parking brake is on and we're in gear and we're getting ratcheted down. You guys are gonna be just fine. Just like that, we're locked and loaded, got the front ratcheted on, e-brakes on, it's in gear. I think that's it. I think terrified is the right word for me right now. Keep in mind, I've, the farthest I've ever driven the 240 was, I wanna say 20, maybe 18 miles to my homie's house to fix an oil leak. This is by far, I'm going 400, over 400 miles on this car right now. This is A, my farthest drive ever, and then B, all also my farthest drive since I rebuilt the motor. I put the drivetrain together. Like I I don't I don't know if I trust my work. I've never done this before. I got some extra oil in the trunk. I got some coolant in the trunk in case we're leaking. Fingers crossed, dude. I, I hope this makes it for a whole lot of reasons. Oh boy. Alright, well, uh, <laughs> I'm just my heart's racing, bro. We have reached our first obstacle. <laughs> we're on the grapevine right now. If you know, you know. This is the first obstacle to over. If we can make it over the grapevine without overheating that's a step in the right direction so far every like the temps are looking good everything's going smooth so far knock on wood i'll keep you posted if we <laughs> if we make it over <laughs> we're beginning the descent we just reached the summit look at our temps we're looking good Whew. okay we still have a little under 400 miles to go but that is a a breath of fresh air that uh we made it over the grapevine without overheating. It's a notorious, a notorious stretch of road where people overheat. Six more hours. <laughs> I've documented everything on my car page that I'll have, I'll have in the description if you want to follow that. But like I had pretty much zero car, like mechanical car knowledge before going into this car. I pulled the motor by myself. I did every gasket and seal by myself besides the timing cover. I had my homie help me with the timing. Like I said, new drive shaft, new differential, coilovers. Like it's my first time doing any of that. And like, this is my first time testing it. So I'm like, I was extreme, I am still extremely nervous. I'm a little bit calmer now, but like, it's a cool feeling making it at least, at least I could break down now and say I made it over halfway and be hyped. But yeah, 250 plus miles so far. But yeah, see you guys there. We are so close to being there. I will say though, making it there is step one. Step two is gonna be if we make it there and there's no no fluids leaking out from the, the motor, which we'll see. But I mean, one step at a time. We made it. We actually made it. 
Wow. Let's just do the initial leak test. Just to see if we got anything leaking. The rear main was leaking and we're good now. At least the initial leak test. We'll check back later. Taylor just got here and this is the dog's first time at the new house. Yeah, you guys are just exploring. We still have to add their, we got, my parents actually brought some fencing over. We just have to actually build the fence. They just brought over, I guess I'll go show you. I talked about it in one of the first videos that we did at the property of wanting to do like probably a full perimeter fence at some point, but at least for the near future, just fence off this little second tier just so we can take the dogs off at night and the dogs out at night, not worry about coyote and bears and whatever whatever other creatures are out here. So my parents actually stopped by and dropped this off. It's 200 foot of four foot chicken wire. They call it a uh, welded wire. I guess it's a step up from chicken wire, but we only have eight fence posts. So I gotta go get some more of those later. Yeah, you guys are excited to have almost three acres, huh? Okay, we're gonna have to check it out. Oh man. During the daytime and stuff, as long as they're being supervised, we're fine with them being off leash, especially here. Like, because before we, it was just like a, a we're worried about cars. You know, if they leave our yard and they, it's, it's LA, they can just get ran over. Mainly at nighttime, we want a fenced area um, and just somewhere for them to, to go to the bath, like a dedicated bathroom area, just there's not poop everywhere. You guys gotta be careful though, there's gonna be spiders. I feel like they, they gotta learn their, uh, they gotta learn their street smarts or their mountain smarts yeah, now. I They've just been raised as city dogs where they have just a confined house. Now they have land, they have to learn about cliffs and, and drops and stuff like that. Right Milo, you, you cannot make that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> he said nope. He, he said nope. I'm good. <laughs> go good boy, Milo. You made it. Uh, okay, we're gonna unwind for a bit, start unpacking, get the dogs settled, and just kind of relax for a bit. Gabe made it. <laughs> it's Gabe's first time here. I'm excited for him to see the property. Woo! That must have been a drive. He's been driving for almost 10 hours. That's crazy. He did have to stop and take a Zoom meeting, but thank you, Gabe, for watching this. I love you. All right, Gabe. Thank you. I don't even think you can see anything, but what, three, four hours unpacking. I guess I should have shown up before, but this was, this is the 16 foot truck that was just completely fully packed to the brim. Got that emptied, you can't see anything. The GoPro sucks in low light. We currently have a organizational nightmare, but everything is in the house. All of our L couches are the wrong direction. Everything's just kind of going wherever. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about leaving the uh, layout of this room like this. You have the office chair facing the wall, the diagonal mattress and the reverse L couch. It just really, really great. All right, honestly, I'm done filming for the night. I'm just gonna help. All right, it's beautiful today. It's the uh, the next morning now, and we're about to head out. We've been crazy busy all morning with unpacking and organizing. You already know, we gotta take this for a spin. There's this terribly annoying scab on my face, right? And uh, <laughs> well, let me show you how it happened here. I was gonna say it's slightly embarrassing, but it's not even slightly embarrassing. It's just stupid and embarrassing. So, you know how I had the Ranger loaded up on the, the trailer for the, the budget truck? Well, I was, here, let me get in the Ranger. This is so dumb, dude, and it's so, it's like such a it's right in the center of my face i hate it so oops i gotta unpack all these shoes still i have no view out of my my right window right i can't see my mirror i can't see anything over there so i was uh in the car trying to back it out so we could load it up onto the the trailer i rolled the window down because it was hot pretty much like that here's me right boom slap it into reverse i put my head back here like i usually do but the the boxes were blocking it so Oh my god, I uh, I go to stick my head out the window, but the window wasn't fully rolled down. So I just go like full force too, just go boom, ow, I just did it again. Just stick my head out and hit the, the bridge of my nose right on the edge of the glass. And like, you know how when you hit your nose, it starts making you, I wasn't crying, all right? It was just tears formed, that's all. <laughs> and that's the story of how I got that very annoying scab on my face that people are probably gonna ask about for the next week on my videos until it goes away. All right, so first thing I wanna check before I show you the organization is the overnight leak test on the 240 to see how we actually held up. And we are off. It's a little sketchy filming while I'm on this because I'm using the front brake, which is a little bit sketch, but that's okay. Oh, and we are here. I personally think that the 240 looks so good in here. We have a ton of organizing to do. So this section is all, you know, still hasn't been packed or anything. I got my welding equipment. So I got my welder, my argon tank, and essentially this half of the shop is going to be converted to, or not, I guess not even converted, but gonna be used as my fingerboard obstacle making area, which funny enough, I think some of you still don't know that I do that, but I've been making little fingerboard rails, all uh, TIG 
welded solid steel. This is one of my personal favorites right here, this little S rail. I love how this one came out. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, there's the, there's the S on it. I'll have my um, fingerboard account uh, in the description if any. It's just ggfb.shop, ggfb.shop, yeah. Once all this stuff is cleared out, we're gonna, you know, move the welding stuff and probably bring over some, honestly, maybe even bring over one of the, either the scaffolding or the industrial shelving. I think it'd be sick to have like a, um, like a backstock almost, so I can just, you know, spend a week making 100, 200 rails and then just have them stocked if anyone, if anyone buys them. Nothing's been organized yet. This is all just stuff from the old garage that we have to go through obviously before Keen Rams gets here too because that's where the skate park's going. And then we have this Gosh, he looks good, baby. Very long journey with the S14 that I'm gonna try to condense into 30 seconds. Bought the car. As the dude that I was buying the car from was driving it to the meeting place, he calls me, he's like, yo, the car's overheating, We're, I'm leaking mad coolant, I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, okay, no, I'm, I'm doing a bad job of expediting this. When I bought the car, I got it towed to my house, I replaced the water pump, and that fixed the coolant leak, but then we had a pesky little oil leak. Uh, well, I should say oil leaks, plural. We had rear main was leaking, front main was leaking, valve cover was leaking, and timing cover was leaking. All pretty minor. It was drivable, but the whole reason I wanted a, a bone stock 240 was that I can gain a little bit of mechanical knowledge and try to work on fixing these things and just learn learn about cars. I don't know shit about cars. At least I didn't when I bought it. So faster, speed this up. Replaced front main, replaced rear main, replaced valve cover, replaced timing cover, replaced oil pan, still had a leak. And like every time we'd replace one of these things, there was still a, a leak somewhere. Replaced rear main again, still leaking from rear main. Replaced rear main again, still leaking from rear main. And then replaced rear main using an OEM Nissan gasket and that fixed the rear main leak. That's where we are. Then I drove it 400 plus miles to here and this is my first time checking for a leak. Normally, after sitting for, you know, an hour or two hours, you'd get like a, a pancake size puddle. It wouldn't affect the actual oil level, level with the dipstick, so it was minor, but you'd have a little puddle. This Nissan gasket. Oh, we're good. Finger for reference, that's after over 24 hours of sitting after driving 400 plus miles. And a lot of that, look, it's brand new oil, so that looks gunky. And we sprayed the entire motor with brake cleaner just to clean it off before driving. So a, a fair amount of that's probably just runoff. Long story short, we're good. You have no idea how proud I am of getting this car to where it is. Anyway, garage is still a mess, saving that for another day. Honestly, the entire house is still a mess and we're saving all of that for another day, but we'll get there. Ow, my eyes. Look at how nice it is up here, dude. Like this does not get old, bro. Come on in here. Here we are. Disclaimer, everything here is pretty much a placeholder right now. Our furniture does not work with this house. This is the L couch from our living room that is just a little bit too long here, but it's not gonna work the other L, so again, placeholder. Taylor went through and worked her magic and organized all of the kitchen stuff to where, damn, she did good. Everything is organized and has a place for now, at least, so kitchen looks great. Ridiculously big 80-inch TV, no idea where that's gonna go. Smaller but still ridiculously big TV, also no idea where that's gonna go. Gabe, no idea where he's going. This couch, I guess, fits. Hi, Leica. But like, it doesn't really match anything. It's a pull-out bed too. This mattress is gonna go somewhere. This is, again, we're, we're in shambles, I'm not gonna lie. Got my racing set. Like, this, 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 is a, this is a disaster. Everything's in the right room. It's just not organized. Saving it for another day. There's a theme here. And then Taylor's working on the bedroom, but that's kind of our personal space, bedroom and bathroom, so I'm just gonna not film it, but <laughs> that's there. We gotta return the budget truck, drive home, finish the landscaping in LA, and then drive back, so it's a lot. Ugh, I've been all over the place in terms of content and not filming intros and outros and just kind of being all over the place and crazy disorganized because I've been busy. Oh, sorry, I just woke up. <laughs> I just woke up and I, I had been editing the video that you're watching right now and realized I didn't film anything after we left. We just left. I'm back in LA for the last time I'm actually about to leave for good. The, the deck is painted, the house is done, this is it. I have one more video that's gonna be posting tomorrow, which is essentially finishing everything, getting the rocks done, giving you the full walkthrough of the house now that it's pretty much empty and, 
and good to go. And then after that, you know, I'm driving up to the new house today and I'm gonna be up there for good. So my, my razor is up there, my leave-in conditioner for my hair is up there. I'm a mess right now. Um, I would love to shave and like clean myself up. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to do that. But finish line is right there. Like I said, tomorrow's video is gonna be the last video here at the LA house and then we're then we're we're there new chapter started so thank you guys for watching appreciate you and catch you next video peace out